Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Disco Elysium. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today as we talk to Titus about some very, very interesting revelations that we came upon last episode. Um, so, last episode, I, I, I honestly didn't want to say any of these, um, but, uh, but I'm not gonna say that one. Let's go with this one. It's not why did she kill him, it's why did she organize the cover-up. And I suppose you have a theory on that? Yeah, she could have just been covering up for herself, Titus. Think about it, says Kim. Why go through all that effort? It was her idea, wasn't it? The hanging. It went along, but she should suggested it. The little man, called Shanky, squints, eyes beady. She had, like, a fully formed plan and shit, right when she came back downstairs. Really, Shanks? Clash wanted to talk to another girl, that's all. She was just the first one up there. I could have come up with that plan if I'd been the first. Time for a logistics demonstration, says our logic. And it's not a check, so it's just, yeah. Eugene, Eugene let's assume you killed him. Uh, he's gonna freak out if I say that. Uh, Shanky and Titus. Let's go with Eugene, actually. Yeah, Eugene, let's assume you killed him. He scoffs. Think you kill him. Get up there, shoot him, get down says Kim. Would you prefer to go on trial with your friends, as part of a lynch mob, or alone for committing murder? The man is silent. If she used us to cover her up, er, her own shit up, well, that's a serious violation of the Hardy Code, boss. Which is why she didn't. She, this is Glenn talking, she would never do that. The blonde man waves his beard around. Why aren't more of you defending her? This is fucking stupid, Titus. Glenn. Titus looks grim. I thought the same thing when she skipped down and left us in this shit. Ooh, she didn't rule her out completely. Or, so he didn't rule her out completely, says our logic. And she skipped town. This is good. Yeah, Clash told me some pretty interesting things about Ruby. Yeah, like what? Um, She's part of the homosexual underground. Now, we heard this expression, but from the... Um, uh, the smoker on the balcony, not from Clash. So I'm not really sure if this is a reference to an actual, uh, you know, expression that people use, or maybe an actual organization for all I know. Uh, but it, uh, there's a reason why, you know, that is the reason why when I first read it, read this, I misread it as a homosexual lifestyle. Because homosexual lifestyle is, well, obviously it's not the same, it, it's not... The same as homosexual underground, but it's just an expression that people, that uh, homophobes tend to use a lot, uh, and just be, oh, I'm against the homosexual lifestyle or something like that, which is sort of, I don't even, for one, uh, and also, what? <laughs> it's like saying, well, I'm against the heterosexual lifestyle. Which which one? How? What? Hmm? What? Do you, what is that? Uh, I I think it might be an, an euphemism for homosexual acts. Uh, but, and that actually would sort of explain what the heck the homosexual lifestyle uh, means. My power went out. I'll uh, I'll be right back. And let's continue. Um, apparently, she had a thing for Clash. Yeah, we don't really know if she wanted sex from her. I mean. I suppose we can assume that a little bit, but yeah. Uh, let's go with that. A thing, you mean. He tilts his head to the side and falls. Silent. Fanga says, yeah, but... The fat man looks up from the table, oblivious. They're both girls. Girls like girls too, Angus, says Kim. Sometimes. This is one of those times. She liked Clash. Come on, guys, she she hangs out with you meatheads. This can't come as a surprise. Uh, I don't think that that is supposed to be, like, a an insult against them or anything like, you know, she turned gay because you are so lame and bad. Um, also because you know, people don't turn gay, people either are gay or not, but, but also because they just know her. 
So actually, that that is sort of. I hope that's not meant to be an insult. Um, what Kim said. Yeah, just say that. Fuck you. The man can't believe what he's hearing. First he says she murdered him, and now she's a. It's a lie. Elaine says, come on, Glenn, she likes Monica's titties more than you do. The mesk smiles. Everyone knows which way the wind blows there. The mesk. I assume that's his... Uh, uh, ethnicity. Maybe. I did, I knew it. That's why she didn't fuck me at Fatty's birthday party. She didn't fuck you because you're 40 and you still live with your mom, Dennis. Eugene says... Eugene says, Life, light laughter sounds off in the room. It feels nervous. Uh, I, 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 I am just now realizing that I'm sort of, I mean, I mean, I should have realized this before, that I'm, I'm, uh, what's the word? Outing her? Yeah, I'm outing her uh, without her consent, but uh, I don't think that's probably a huge Huge problem right now. She is wanted for murder, after all. Um, Clash said she made advances on her, and she thwarted them. Ruby then threatened her, says Kim, and told her to end her relationship with the deceased. This is some sordid shit. The big man, big man rubs his chin. It's also the kind of garbage our Miss Orange puts out to cover her own ass. Yeah, I'm still, I'm still curious about when he said the girls. I'm still curious about that, but I'm sort of leaning towards the, it just being what I thought it was at the time. Uh, oh, speaking of. Not speaking of, I just had to uh, to set things up uh, because uh, the computer, it, the power ran out. Anyway, the um, didn't go out again. I just had to do things. Uh, let's see. She did tell us when we were close to arresting her. She just told us Ruby made her scared and she spilled the bin, the beans. Yeah. I don't know. He's not, Titus definitely isn't telling us enough about Clash. Uh, but I'm going to say this. She did tell us that only when we were close to arresting her. Figures. He looks out the window. But that Ruby is queer as cabaret now that I start thinking about it. So there is some truth to it. And that's okay. Some are queerer than others. You can still be a hardy. He glances at Glenn. But if you bring your own personal shit into our outfit... And Shanky says, And then, boss... He shakes his head. Use us to cover it up? I mean, that's just fucked up. If it's true, says Eugene. He looks at Shanky and then Titus. But it's not, right? Titus, you have to see it. Things don't add up. We need to talk to her. Silence. He looks around the room. The old man in the corner, Theo, nods. A very small nod and a trickle of tobacco spit on his lip. This is the only option. Uh, this is the only opinion he cares for. Titus cares for. Yeah, I see it. He puts his own beer down. There's one more thing I've been wondering about ever since you asked me where she is. Add it to your list of suspicions if you want. I don't know. He smiles a peculiar smile. I don't know where she went. She's just up and left. Got real scared, too. Wouldn't tell me where, however hard I asked. Wanna know why? Why? She was afraid I would tell you. He looks you straight in the eye. Maybe she was right. By now, I probably would. She knew there's evidence on her, says Kim, and she knew we would find it. This is typical suspect behavior. Why fleeing is always incriminatory. And we gain 70 experience, also leveled up. Lovely. Lovely. Perhaps. He looks out the window again. Ask her if you find her. It won't be easy, though. She made sure of that. When did she leave? Friday afternoon, when you first arrived. I got word the RCM was in town. And then she came in to see me. Told me she was leaving. That's when we had our little conversation. What was she scared of? I told you, you. Me as in the RCM? No, you, as in the cop with the sideburns and the disco clothes. And a hole in his heart, that first, says our Inland Empire. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, God, why does everything flee of, at the sight of my shadow? <laughs> Let's say that. It seems you have that effect, especially on women. He looks at you. Right, says our rhetoric. That's the second one now who's trying to flee, uh, to flee you. You know, when I first saw you limp in here, I thought she was paranoid or sniffing her own supply, but he measures you up. Now I'm not so sure. What else did Ruby tell you about me? She said you have a funny taste in clothes. He scoffs. And that you won't stop. Won't stop? Until you have something on her? She said she's heard from you or of you from Jamrock. That you're a human can opener. That you play suspects against each other. Open them up like cans. And then when they're empty, just move on, says our interfacing. On to the next... Should be a no, because it's on to. Not unto, but sure. Unto is not even a word. On to the next can. Don't look back unless there was something you missed, says our interfacing. Fucking hell, the tattooed man shakes his head. Elaine does. Titus, did he just open Angus up like a can? Yes, he did. He nods. Now we can whine about it, whack him, or we can go on with our lives. I'm having a go on with our lives kind of day, all. How about you? It's not an actual question, says our authority. And of course, Elaine is silent. Just nods. Is that true, Kim? Am I a can opener? You are insistent, says Kim, and nods. Anything else? Anything? Yeah, there was something else. She wouldn't tell me, though. I could see she wanted to. It was burning on her lips. This cop, Titus, this copy. But she was you know, too scared. Do you have any clues on where Ruby went? She's not far. We know that much. She didn't take her lorry, so she's on foot. Good fucking luck, man, says Elaine. She knows this place like the back of her hand. You'll never find her. Yeah, I'll. He gives a sharp look. And we won't either. She's not really a, uh... Glenn says. The man stares into his beer. Hardy candidate anymore, is she? She's not, Glenn. Have you looked for her? A little. On the coast. Where have you looked for her, more precisely, says Kim. More precisely? On the coast, past the waterlock. He nods southwest. She's not here, so I'm thinking she's there. Hmm. That would explain some things that we have seen. Can you tell me where on the coast I should start looking? Sure. There are some shit houses there. A cinder block house. The fisher folk th there refuse to unionize. So there's uh, that's one place we haven't looked. I hear they have a shack where junkies sometimes crash. Time for you to step up. We will start there. The lieutenant takes a quick note. One more question. What does Ruby look like? Boyish. Hair. Uh, red. Dyed. She looks like a loryman. Do you know what she's uh, doing with Ulan frequencies? Also, that's all capitals, but apparently this time it isn't. The what now? I have no idea. He looks around. Boys. Yeah, she said she's building a... Uh... His voice is very quiet. Fat Angus's voice. That's who's talking. A pale emitter? What? We were uh, talking about radio equipment. She said she's doing Ulan frequencies in the pale emitter. I, I don't know more. This guy is bar barely understands what he's talking about, says our logic. Yes, I, I figure he doesn't. Titus Hardy says, there you have it, pale something. Titus puts an end to it. It feels like you'll get to know soon enough, says our Inland Empire. Thanks, Inland Empire. I'm really happy that I went with this skill. It's a, it's a special skill. It's not much. I'll do it. Oh, or it's not much, but I'll do it. It'll have to. Actually, not I'll do it. It'll will do, is the line. And he says, it'll have to. He puts his hand out. I'm gonna shake it. His grip is firm and reassuring, like holding a piece of unpolished granite. Not just granite, tightly packed RCM sergeant material. This is an insult to him, I'm pretty sure. I'm just thinking, I think it, you should be a cop. No, says our esprit de corps. He already is a sergeant. That's what you're feeling. He just wasn't sure what you are. Yeah. Did I ramble about that already? About what defines a cop and what doesn't? What defies, defines lawful and what doesn't? Criminal, rather, not lawful. So we're going to go with physical instrument. Are we I'm looking for it? We're not going to go with physical instrument.
this is a bit of a problem. I don't remember... We're definitely going to go to the Cinder Block House pretty soon. But I don't remember... And, and that is before going to the lady on the boat. Because I don't trust her. You think you have a pretty hot suspect right now, don't you? That ruby of yours, says our volition. Yeah, and? Notice how it came together without casting too much suspicion on Clash? It was nice and ruby-centric in the end. Yeah, what do you mean? Anything strike you a bit up off about this mismatch? Uh... So far, no one has mentioned hearing the shot. Notice how this hasn't come up at all. Even the Hardy and the, his boys didn't mention it. Neither did you. Yeah, the bullet was jacketed. These don't just lie around everywhere, do they? Good point. It is rather rare these days. But do continue. It turned out the bullet was an antique. True. Strange how you conducted the whole advanced ballistics analysis and then hand-waved it. I didn't really, but... Whatever. Uh, I'm not. I'm done thinking about this. That's right. Finish thought. Just finish it and conveniently go on. She's watching you leave right now. You know that. For he has a bird on that roof, lighting up a cigarette and thinking, "Am I glad Ruby's on in this shit and on me?" Don't listen to this guy. Says our lo says logic. The theory was solid. He's just jealous. Move on. It's no one harassing her. It's no use harassing her further. Uh. Our logic is compromised, right? Let me just look. I can remember. I thought it was our psyche that was compromised. Yeah. Okay, we're good. Now, we're going down there because I want to see if I can change the outcome of the of that check over here. Not this one. Although, it's sort of related to that. I still need to find a better... This one over here. still need to find a better... Freaking hell. Oh, physical instrument. God damn it! I can't upgrade my physical instrument. That sucks so much. And it's our it's our electrochemistry and whatnot. Can I? Uh that sucks. That sucks, so I won't be able to do whatever this is. Because I'm never doing that again. Oh, we can unlock it. Oh, sure. Go right ahead. Yeah. And now we're going to see about this homosexual underground thing. Uh, we also had date of birth. Generator. And, uh, yeah, let's internalize this one. You see mysterious strangers in the night, leaning against unlit doorways, engaged in hushed conversation. A shadowy cabal exchanging looks, whispering in dark alleys and unmarked locales. A radical cell conspiring against the state, and perhaps even against men and women. Uh, men and women. Was that a secret handshake? What's going on? Who are these secretive people? How will they accomplish their sinister and world-altering goals? And most importantly, are you one of them? You could be. Maybe you forgot. This whole, uh, the, the, when we got the homosexual underground thought, uh, it was very much around the, the notion of family. Although, it bears mentioning that the notion of family that's heterocentric, uh, heterocentric and considered, at least in Europe and North America, to cons considered to be traditional, um, and not homosexual in, in nature, that notion of family is not actually traditional. Uh, or at least not, it, it's it's a construct that is that is born out of a purposeful misunderstanding of history. Family doesn't have to be a man and a woman, or rather, that's not how that's not what I'm trying to say. Family historically is not a man and a woman and their children. That's not what family is, because um, you know there's many different cultures uh, and uh, even in Europe that is not family. Even in 20th century Europe. Christian 20th century Europe that is not a, a, a faithful representation of what family is. Um, and it and I say this because it was, uh, first off, because I have a vague understanding of history in, that, in regards to that type of sociological construct, which is family. Um, but also because I remember having a huge uh, amount of trouble understanding the, uh, I, should, I should stop being 
mono. The game was mono for a little while. Uh, I sh uh, also because I had a, a huge amount of trouble understanding what family meant in English specifically when I started to get more exposed to English speaking uh, um, fiction and culture and all that sort of stuff. Because for me, family it, growing up and certainly for um, for um, uh, I would say the vast majority of the people that I dealt with growing up, family meant uh, a a much wider net, uh, and it is still it's it, it's especially in southern European countries that's still the case. And English speakers tend to have a different uh, culturally influenced influenced, of course, uh, understanding of what family is. But um, family is less of a personal relationship. It, somebody can be family and not be um, and not be close to you, whereas somebody can be close to you and not be family. So whereas in English that is not the case, and historically is not the case, somebody can be family and not be blood related, um, but of course the word itself assumes different meanings in the, depending on the context that you're using. It's just sort of funny because the uh, the, the, um, the notion of, uh, uh, I don't know, three people or in a, in a like for example a, a a polyamorous relationship being a family uh, and and just being that being a uh, somehow reality shattering is just not a thing that 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 is very relevant in in, in I suppose Portuguese culture uh, me growing up in Portugal of course um, and being in Portugal I'm still here but the thing is uh, it's just not it's like it, that's not the the discourse, I suppose, if people are going to be talking about what what the homosexual lifestyle is going back to what we were talking about before um, entails. So it's a really weird, it's a really weird uh, sort of um, realization over the years. In fact, because you know, of course, I didn't know back then when when I saw movies and and series and whatnot talk about family in ways that I wasn't used to. It's a weird realization coming to understand uh, the notion, the, 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 I suppose, the American notion or and the British notion as well of family being so restrictive. Uh, not necessarily in the fact that, it, in the sense that it's a, man, a married couple of men and women or, or, and the children or whatnot, but rather in, in more in the sense of how um, it's, more, it's, it's more related to the nucleic family, which is an actual sort of a, a much more... Under, much more uh, I suppose precise saying of what it's what it's meant to be the nucleic family is is a uh, is also a, re a, a very recent um, underst or not understanding, but I suppose uh, explanation to what family constitutes in in the Occidental uh, society. Uh, certainly, very very uh, I suppose distinct, not necessarily different, but distinct from. Uh, other cultures like in Asia and uh, Africa and South America even uh, depending on your an ancestry and stuff like that so it's like <laughs> it's uh, the, homose the homosexual underground is not breaking anything that hasn't been broken up into way too many different ways of, of uh, understanding family already uh, it's just sort of the, the clash uh, among it's just homophobia, really. At the end of the day, it's what it is. It's just uh, finding an, uh, finding a way to pick on uh, what what uh, homosexual people are requesting of themselves. I don't know where the cinder uh, cinder block house is, by the way, uh, or requesting for themselves, I should say, which is of course the right to live live and, and just not have people bother them, really. Um, at the end of the day, it's not. That's not the only thing, obviously, but it, that's well, that's a start at least. And in fact, many people, well, I say many people, some people I've heard talk about the their issues like this and just being like, you know, just leave me alone and I'd be happy with that. But of course, unfortunately, that is not the case for. That's not the reality, I should say, for for many queer people. And I say queer. I don't. The, the game used the word queer before. I don't. I don't know if it was used in the sort of I suppose. 70s way of I suppose it wasn't actually but it could have been used in the 70s way of, of referring to uh, members of the LGBT uh, plus community as queer which is a uh, which was used for many years and is still uh, as used as a as an insult um, I really have no idea where this cinder block house is but uh, more lately has been re reclaimed and, and used as a well, not by everybody, obviously, because, you know, the LGBT community is many, 
is composed of many different people and many different communities in and of itself. But it has been reclaimed to a degree to be a source of pride and sort of an identity. In, in, in fact, it is an identity to a lot of uh, to a lot of people where they would rather not talk of themselves as, as being gay or lesbian or pan or anything and just see themselves as queer. We got something over here. What do we have? We have the end of the episode. That's what we have. So for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Disco Elysium. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching with a hiccup. <laughs> and uh, I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.